in the year 8000 BC, music sounded something like this. In 1789, along came Mozart, and music sounded like this. Then in 1907, along came W.C. Handy, and jazz was born. In 1935, the musical world was rocked by Benny Goodman, the king. And then in 1941, along came Spike Jones. <laughs> and here he is, the man who set music back 10,000 years, Spike Jones. somebody out of the audience would start shooting back at us. You know that. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Just because you don't like my band or you don't like my music, you don't have to frighten the guys half to death. You're going to answer to Petrilla for this, you know. <laughs> now look at me. You left me out here all alone. What do I do now? <laughs> A what? I got you. That's fine. Last week I had UCLA. <laughs> now look. I got you. I got a harp, right? What am I going to do with the harp? I haven't even got a sharp axe. Huh? Got an idea? Oh, you want me to do a different type show, is that it? Huh? Well, maybe I'd better humor this kid. Let's walk on back into my office. Will you come back here, huh? Come on back. Here we are. Oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> you do that? Huh? No, I don't. I'm <laughs> well, why didn't you 
say so. Why were you arguing with me? How did I know you wanted to do a panel show? Do you want to do a panel show, huh? Like everybody else? All right, I'm easy to get along with. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> Junk Box Jury, starring your friend and my friend, that musical dilettante, Junk Box Jones. This is Junk Box Jones, your old disc jockey, talking to you. <laughs> I've been looking at a lot of new records lately. Oh, there you are. You know, we have three very famous celebrities on the panel tonight to judge the records. The talented, vivacious, unpredictable, and world-famous Gabor Brothers. <laughs> ah. And now, we'd like to present first, Manasha Gabor. Next, we'd like to present Pasha Gabor. <laughs> and now the youngest Gabor brother, that handsome blonde madcap, Sasha. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's great to have you on the jury tonight. We'd like to get on with the record. Is that all right with you, huh? <laughs> That's a long, 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 long playing record. <laughs> now we'd like to find out if it'll be a hit. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's all ready. A hit. Thanks. Uh, I'm just lost without my instruments. What would hyphens do without a fiddle? Huh? Huh? A miss? <laughs> Sasha, haven't you ever seen a pig before? Listen, gentlemen, I would like to have you, uh... <laughs> Stay in the building, Harville. I would like to have you listen carefully and uh, judge fairly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it takes the sale of over 250,000 records, over 250,000 records to make a... Cut the cards, will you? We got the pay... <laughs> As I was saying, it takes a sale of over 250,000 records to make a hit record. Now, will you please judge fairly, gentlemen? Huh? May we have the song? The panel does not know that the star of the record is actually performing backstage. All of my days I will love only you Until eternity too Somebody new 
You've all heard the record. Now, can anybody tell me the name of the artist, gentlemen? You know who was singing that song? No. It wasn't the Andrews sisters. <laughs> Marsha. No, it wasn't Eartha Kitt. <laughs> Nasha. I think it was. No, Andy. but you were very close. I guess I'll just have to tell you that the famous vocalist on that record was Joe Levitt. Well, don't take it to heart. That was a real tough guess. <coughs> now, let's see. Will it be a hit? <laughs> Can NBC afford a fourth thing? Or will it be a miss? <laughs> Congratulations, Harpo. Very good. Now, let's settle down, fellas. May we hear the, your opinion of the record? Oh, I see you're a little undecided. Maybe we better vote. May I have your ballot, please? <laughs> Here are the results. I have a miss. I have another miss. Uh-oh. And another miss. <laughs> How about that? You voted it a miss. It was a real bomb, huh? Oh, 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 oh. oh no, no. no. Wonderful, but this is ridiculous. I can't get along without my pen. I just don't want to mess with it. What is this? What's my crime? Look, I've murdered music all my life, but I've never been found guilty before. Welcome to What's My Crime, starring your friend and my friend, our old pen pal, Warden Joe. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, the panel has never seen the contestants before and they are to guess what crime they committed. Tonight, tonight our guest is from San Quentin. Would you kindly sign in? Is that Miss or Mrs.? Miss. I wonder if you'd walk over past the panel so they get a better look at you, all right? <laughs> Now we'll tell our audience what our guest's occupation is. <laughs> I'll give you one clue. She is not salary. <laughs> Nasha? Uh, I think that... No, 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 but you're very warm. In fact, you'd be a lot warmer if you were over here where I am. <laughs> Tasha, I'll give you a hint. 
The 670-715-3777 deals in products. I can... No, the product is not bigger than a bread box. <laughs> Sasha? No, she's not one of the Andrews sisters. <laughs> I've got news for you, fellas. This 6707153777 is a pickpocket. Well, you pickpocket the most, huh? Miss, tell me, are you really a pickpocket? Here's your watch. <laughs> Miss, wait a minute. Tell me they forgot this, too. <laughs> Here is your stocking. <laughs> How about her trying to steal my watch? Is that ridiculous, huh? <laughs> Ow! Look, Harpo, this is really ridiculous. Uh, I'm still here, Harpo. Uh, what else have you got in mind? It won't hurt quite so much. Oh, this is small business, huh? Small business. Well, I know more schmoes than anybody else, so we ought to be in the business. Here we go. This is Schmo Business, starring your friend and my friend, Mr. Schmo Business himself, Cecil B. DeJones. Here we are again, bringing you the uh, heartbreaks and headbreaks and problems of Schmo Business, ladies and gentlemen. Our first contestant tonight is a very beautiful Miss Helen Graco. Will you come in, Helen? I haven't seen you for quite a while, Helen. What is your problem? Welcome to Schmo Business. What is your problem? Well, I sing with Spike Jones's band. Well, my goodness gracious, you do have a problem. I certainly do. Do you know Spike Jones? Well, no, you see, we, we move in different circles. You'd move in circles, too, if you were that dizzy. Well, you'd be dizzy, too, if you had all his in-laws, Miss Draco. But please... <laughs> Please, let's not cast aspersions, whatever they are. Mr. Jones isn't here to defend himself, you know. Now, what is your problem specifically? It seems I've been singing with this band for two years now, and nobody's ever heard me. You know something? A lot of singers would be better off that way, but I'm only kidding. We're really here to help you. Honest, we are. We happen to have one of the world's finest harpists with us this evening. Would you like to have him accompany you? Plays very softly. One time he did a duet with a cricket, you know. <coughs> oh, that'd be wonderful. You'd like that? All right, Helen, you walk right over there, all right? Go ahead. Oh, my heart went boom, boom when I met you. And my eyes went pop, pop at first glance. Oh, the way my knees started to rattle When you held me sometimes when we danced Then my ears went boing, boing when you whispered And my hair stood straight up just like this But when we said goodnight and you held me so tight Not a sound could be heard But our kiss Oh, my heart went boom, boom when I met And my eyes went pop, pop at first glance Oh, the way my knees started when you held me so close while we danced Then my ears went boing boing when you whispered And my hair stood straight up just like this But when we said goodnight And you held me so tight Not a sound could be heard but our No, Harpo not a sound could be heard but our... No, no, Harpo. Not a sound could be heard but our... Oh, no, Harpo. No. Well, 
that's a lot more like it. Believe me, Harpo, there's no substitute for good music, is there? Huh? No substitute? And just to prove that I'm wrong, we'd like to do a number from our Universal Picture Fireman Save My Child. You like that? It's called, We Were Going to Elope, But Your Father Hooked My Ladder. Now, if you could just stand over there while we play this little gem, okay? <laughs> oh, no, okay. Some imitations. You'd like to do some imitations? Space Patrol. <laughs> An Indian and a V8. <laughs> and a windshield wiper. <laughs> This is great. A windshield wiper on a rainy day. Thank you. 
you laughed, it was like music to our ears. It's been such fun, but now it's not. We're sorry we must leave. So here's a great big hand for you before we go. Cause you're the stars of the spike don't show. And now we're going to find out. Somebody out of the audience would start shooting back at us. You know that. <laughs> thousand records, over two hundred and fifty thousand records to make us cut the cards, will you? We got the pick. <laughs> As I was saying, it takes a sale of over two hundred and fifty thousand records to make a hit record. Now, will you please judge fairly, gentlemen? Huh? May we have the song? The panel does not know that the star of the record is actually performing backstage. All of my days, I will love only you. Until eternity too. my music, you don't have to frighten the guys half to death. You're going to answer to Petrilla for this, you know. <laughs> now look at me. You left me out here all alone. What do I do now? A what? I got you. That's fine. Last week I had UCLA. <laughs> now look. I got you. I got a harp, right? What am I going to do with the harp? I haven't even got a sharp axe. Huh? You got an idea? 
Oh, you want me to do a different type show, is that it? Huh? Well, maybe I'd better humor this kid. Let's walk on back into my office. Will you come back here, huh? Come on back. Here we are. Oh, you like that, huh? <laughs> you did? Huh? No, I don't... You want to do a panel show, huh? Like everybody else? All right, I'm easy to get along with. Let's go. Huh? <laughs> Junk Box Jury, starring your friend and my friend, that musical dilettante, Junk Box Joe. This is Junk Box Jones, your old disc jockey, talking to you. <laughs> I've been looking at a lot of new records lately. <laughs> oh, there you are. You know, we have three very famous celebrities on the panel tonight to judge the records. The talented, vivacious... In the year 8000 B.C., music sounded something like this. In 1789, along came Mozart, and music sounded like this. Then in 1907, along came W.C. Handy, and jazz was born. In 1935, the musical world was rocked by Benny Goodman, the king. And then in 1941, along came Spike Jones. <laughs> and here he is, the man who set music back 10,000 years, Spike Jones. Predictable and world famous Gabor Brothers. <laughs> ah. And now we'd like to present first Manasha Gabor. Next, we'd like to present Pasha Gabor. Now the youngest Gabor brother, that handsome blonde madcap, Sasha. <laughs> Gentlemen, it's great to have you on the jury tonight. We'd like to get on with the record. Is that all right with you, huh? That's a long, 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 long playing record. <laughs> now we'd like to find out if it'll be a hit. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's all ready. A hit. Thanks. Uh, I'm just lost without my instruments. What would hyphens do without a fiddle? Huh? Huh? A miss? <laughs> Sasha, haven't you ever seen a pig before? 
Listen, gentlemen, I would like to have you, uh... <laughs> Stay in the building, Harper. I would like to have you listen carefully and uh, judge fairly. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it takes the sale of over 250,000...